Let's explore the division of whole numbers by way of a word problem. The information we're given is that a college wishes to purchase a class set of laptops for student use. And a local supplier has given them a bulk purchase price of $13,230 for 21 laptops. And we have to find out how much does each laptop cost. The first sentence gives us some background and some context. The second sentence gives us some key information and some numbers. And the third sentence tells us what we need to find out. Okay, let's pull out the key information. So we know the total cost is 13230 and there are 21 laptops. And we want to know the cost for each laptop. So another way of saying that is the cost per laptop. The word per means division. So what we're saying here is that the cost per laptop would be the total cost in dollars divided by the number of laptops. Which in our case is the 13,230 divided by 21. You can also think of it this way. If I have the total cost being represented by that circle, we're going to divide this into 21 equal parts in order to find out how much each laptop is worth. Okay, so we know we have a division problem, so now we just have to go and work out this division. And let's say that we don't have our calculator available to us, so we need to apply a method or methods to solve this problem. I'm going to show you three different methods and you can pick whichever method you prefer. Alright, I'm just going to erase this to get some space and we're going to go ahead and take a look at method number one. So method number one is to use long division. So how long division works is that you're dividing 13,230 by 21 so you write 13,230 divided by 21. Then you start dividing 21 into each of the following uh, successions of numbers. So we start with 21 into 1. Well, 1 is less than 21. It doesn't go. So we go to the next digit. So then we go 21 into 13. Still doesn't go because 21 is larger than 13. So then we say, okay, bore the next digit, and we'll try 21 into 132. So we ask ourselves, how many times does 21 go into 132? So what we can do is go up in multiples of 21. So let's write that out first. So if I have one group of 21, I will have 21. If I have two groups of 21, I would have 42. Three groups, give me 63. Four groups would give me 84. Five groups of 21 would give us 105. Six groups 20 of 21 would give us 126. And seven groups of 21 would give us 147. So the number 132 is somewhere between 126 and 147. So you go to the smallest value, which would give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of 21, and that would be 126. And then we write this here, 126. And that was 6 groups of 21 to give us that. Then we subtract these numbers. Now if I look here, 6 from 2 I can't do, so I borrow from the next column over. So I'm going to make that 3 a 2 and borrow the 10 of those to make that a 12. So 6 from 12 is 6. And then 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're left with a remainder of 6. Then we bring down the next digit, the 3. And we ask ourselves, how many times does 21 go into 63? 
Well, if we look down our multiples of 21, 1, 2, 3 groups of 21 is 63. So 63 represents 3 groups of 21. And then we subtract these numbers, and we're left with 0 and 0. Still have to bring down our next digit, which is 0. And we ask ourselves, how many times does 21 go into 0? Well, that is 0 times. So our answer is 630. So each laptop costs $630. Now we could verify that we have the right answer by taking the 630 and multiplying it by 21 to see if we get 13,230. Okay, let's look at another method. I'm going to move down so we have some space to work with here. And we're going to look at method number two. Now method number two involves um, some divisibility laws. So let's take a look at just a couple that will help us out. Now the most common ones are if a number is even, then it is divisible by two. If a number ends in a zero or five, then it is divisible by five. And if the sum of a number's digits is a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. Okay, let's bring back the numbers. We've got 13,230 divided by 21. We'll start with the smallest number, 21, just to get the hang things, and we'll isolate it. So let's put 21 here, and we'll ask ourselves, all right, is it an even number? No, it's not. It's one at the end, so it's not an even number. So then we say, okay, what are the sum of the digits of this number? So 2 plus 1 is 3. Well, that's a multiple of 3, so we can, it'll be divisible by 3. And so we can break down this number as 3 times something. Well, 3 times 7 gives us 21. So in other words, we can come up here, and in the bottom, 21 is the same thing as 3 times 7. Now let's go to the larger number, and we'll isolate it again. So what we would get is 13,230. And we ask ourselves, is this an even number? And it is an even number because it ends in 0, so it's divisible by 2. So this can be broken down into 2 times some number. To find that number, we divide 2 into 13,230. So 2 into 13 goes 6 times with 1 remainder. 2 into 12, 2 into the 12 goes 6 times. 2 into 3 goes once with 1 remainder. And then 2 into 10 goes 5 times. Then we repeat the process. We look at this number, 6,615. Is it an even number? No, because it ends in 5. Let's sum up the digits then. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, plus 5 is 18. Is 18 a multiple of 3? Yes, it is. So it must be divisible by 3. So we can write this as 3 times some number. To find that number, we take 3 and divide it into 6,615. So 3 into 6 goes twice, no remainder. 3 into this 6 goes twice again. 3 into 1 doesn't go, and we carry the 1. And finally, then, 3 into 15 goes 5 times. And we keep going. We look at 2,205. Is it even? Nope, because it has a 5 at the end. Let's add the digits. 2 plus f 2 is 4. 
plus 0 is 4, plus 5 is 9. Is 9 a multiple of 3? Yes, it is. So it's divisible by 3 again. So this would be 3 times some number. Again, you would divide 3 into 2,205. So 3 into 2 doesn't go. So 3 into 22 goes 7 times, which would be 21 with one remainder. 3 into 10 goes 3 times, which would be 9 with one remainder. And then 3 into 15 goes 5 times. And again, we keep going. We can break down the number 735 into 3 times some number. So we ask ourselves again, is 735 an even number? No, it's not. Add the digits. 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 5 is 15. Is it a multiple of 3? Is 15 a multiple of 3? Yes, it is. So it's divisible by 3 again. So we can write 3 times some number. So 3 goes into 7 twice with one remainder. 3 goes into 13 four times with one remainder. And 3 into 15 goes five times. Okay, we keep going. 245. Is it even? Nope. Add the digits. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 2 is 11. Is that a multiple of 3? No, it's not. Does it end in 5? Yes, it does. So it's divisible by 5. All right, let's move up a little bit so we have more space. So we could say that this would be 5 times some number. So how do we find that number? We go 5 into 245. So 5 into 24 would be 4 times, with, which is 20, with 4 remainder. And then 5 into 45 goes 9 times, like so. And then we look at 49. Is it even? No, it's not. Add the digits. 4 plus uh, 9 is 13, not a multiple of 3. Does it end in 0 or 5? No. So we're going to stop there. And our answer is given as follows. It's uh, 1,000, or sorry, 13,230 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 49. Like so. It looks like a hockey stick. So our top here becomes 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 49. Then what you can do is cancel top to bottom. For example, this 3 here can cancel with this 3 there. We also know that 49 is 7 times 7. So we could cancel one of these 7s, and 7 goes into 49 7 times. So what we're left with is the answer is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times the 7. That would be this 2, that 3, that 3, that 5, and that 7. I'm going to move us down here so we can get some more space to work on. So let's start with 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 more is 18, so we can write that down. The answer would be 18 times 5 times 7. Then we can do 18 times 5, these two here. And if we get really good at our multiplication, that's 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4. 5 times 1 is 5, plus that, that'll be 90 times 7. And then 7 times 90, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 6, uh, sorry, 7 times 9 is 63. So 13,230 divided by 21 is 630. And we'll throw in the units, which is dollars. All right, let's compare that to our answer above, and we can see that we've got the same answer, $630.